Uh, hi, with the FY15 FY financial year uh, nearing an end, we thought it might be appropriate just to have a little look at the telco sector, see how it's performed, um, talk through some of those key thematics and then obviously um, talk about our sort of key ideas in that space. So uh, luckily for me as the telco analyst, it's been a great sector this year. Uh, it's been one of the star performers. If you look at the overall market, you've got a total shareholder return from the 1st of July of about 3%. If you look at Telstra, obviously a well-known household name, the performance of Telstra has been about 17% over that period, so certainly something we're very happy with. If you move down, down the rungs and look at the Tier 2 ISPs, the best performer has been M2, which many of you may know um, from its brand Dodo. It's up about 80% for the year, which is a great result. And then if you look to the other names, you've got TPG, which is up nearly 50%, IONET, Amcom and Vocus up around 30%. So generally, it's been a very good year across the telco sector. What's been driving that performance? A lot of it's around M&A. So what we've seen uh, is a number of companies merging. We saw TPG lob a bid for Ironet, and then M2 come over the top, and TPG uh, get the final say there. So that's um, the, all that paperwork's now been lodged, and the board of Ironet are voting in favour of that. So that's driven the strong share price performance of Ironet. Had that not happened, uh, Ionet would have been the lagger for the year and had a pretty weak result uh, and certainly that, um, that merger has also propped up the TPG share price. At the other end you've got Amcom and Vocus which have just as of yesterday announced um, the results of a merger. That's all going ahead now which is good. TPG was in fact looking to block uh, that merger but um, the board of Amcom have rallied pretty hard and, and Vocus and have got shareholder support and that is now going ahead which is a great outcome. And that's driven some strong performance there. Uh, not so good for TPG in the long run as they end up with a decent national competitor in the wholesale and enterprise markets, but it's been a good driver there. And then finally, in terms of IPOs, Morgan's was involved in the IPO of Superloop. It's been a great performer. We listed the stock at a dollar and it's now trading around a dollar 90. So that's 90% uh, within about a month. So very good performance there. Backed by a person many of you will know, Bevan Slattery, who founded both Pipe Networks and Next DC, which have been very successful telco businesses listed on the Australian Stock Exchange. So we've seen some good results there from M&A and IPOs. And in terms of the operating results, you know, the thing that we think is going to drive next year is really around content uh, and cloud computing. So interestingly, just today, we've seen Optus's CEO, Alan Liu, talking about Optus potentially bidding for some of the football rights. So for example, the AFL, looking for Optus to actually buy rights to stream or sell that content over their internet connection. So you're starting to see some of these Australian telcos follow the, the, the methods that overseas telcos like BT have done. BT, a few years ago, British Telecom that is, uh, bought the rights to the Premier League and started selling that to their customer base over its mobile, sorry, over its fixed line network. So you're starting to see things like that content uh, playing out in the Australian market as people try and sell things down their pipe and move from just selling data to selling more complicated things. So we think that's going to be a theme that will out, play out a little bit more this financial year. And we also think you'll continue to hear more noise around cloud computing. So just ending, uh, ending this session, just our ideas, our key ideas, really it's been a great result this year, this financial year. If you're looking to lock in some profits, please have a chat to your Morgan's advisor to make sure these calls are appropriate for you. But a couple of sell ideas we've got or reduce ideas are both Ionet and TPG. With Ionet, for example, you can now sell it on market for higher than TPG's offer price and you've got no risk here. Just as a reminder, there is an ACCC review. The ACCC's uh, raised the flag about TPG acquiring Ionet and the implications it has for uh, consumers. So there is a possibility that things change on that bid. The ACCC may put some onerous conditions on TPG and Ionet, which could potentially change the bid terms. So why wouldn't you sell it right now? You can get the same price with no risk and get it three or four months ahead of schedule. So we're recommending selling Ionet. And by the same tune, we're recommending selling TPG. We just think that there's a lot in that price now. And we think there's downside around what the ACCC says with respect to Ionet and what the combined group looks like. But the market is factoring in um, a very successful outcome there. So we're happy to sell those two. In terms of our key picks, we are fans of both um, M2. We do have a hold on that at the moment, um, but it's our preferred um, ISP or telco. Um, and on the data center side, we prefer Next DC, which we also have an add on. Thanks.